everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the latest controversy that's popped up overnight, which is about uh, the latest anime adaptation supposedly whitewashing the lead role, and I'm going to be giving my opinion on why I think this is bullshit. So colour me surprise when scrolling through my Facebook feed late last night that I see a link to an article saying that Ghost in a Shell a very beloved anime and one of my personal favourite animes is getting a live action adaptation. And yeah, other than surprise, I was uh, thinking, yes, this is a cool anime, it deserves this. But I was also feeling a bit anxious because, let's be honest with ourselves, anime and Western adaptations haven't had a particularly good relationship, and that's putting it mildly. Yeah, those two. Ugh. But I still hold out hope for this uh, adaptation. But what's got me really annoyed is the whole reaction surrounding this single picture that has been released, and just because who's playing the lead role. The reaction has been sort of akin to everybody grabbing their torches and pitchforks and chanting whitewashing whitewashing simply because they don't like who has been chosen to play Makoto Kuzunagi, in this case Scarlett Johansson. Um, the arguments have been ranging from um, because it is based off an anime uh, and the anime is based in Japan, um, everybody needs to be Japanese or especially the main character needs to be Japanese. Um, another argument that I've been seeing around, which I'm sorry this is just blatantly stupid to me, is her name is Makoto Kuzanagi, therefore she has to be Japanese because her name is Japanese. Which I'll just eye roll right there. Um, and to me, these are people who clearly do not know Ghost in the Shell, or the world of Ghost in the Shell, and especially the character of the Major, aka Motoko Kusanagi. They seem to forget that she's a cyborg. Yeah, she's a fully converted cyborg. If the anime being adapted for film was, for example, Tokyo Ghoul, I would say that all or the majority of the cast need to be Japanese to stay faithful to the source material. But I would also say that something like Tokyo Ghoul would be better being produced in Japan itself. But in the case of Ghost in the Shell, you don't need to be so strict. In this world, computer technology has advanced so far that many of the members of the public have cybernetic brains. Some people are fully converted cyborgs like the Major. In this world, I suspect that the Major would be less concerned with things like race and more concerned with hardware, software and the best firewall she could get, since hacking is a prevalent thing in this world. Also, if the Major wished it, she could change races by switching cyborg bodies. As long as the new body had enough memory for all of her personality and software programming. It has also been stated that the Major has been a man in some missions. But all that aside, could they have chosen somebody else other than Scarlett Johansson to play the role of Motoko Kuzanagi? It's possible, yeah. I don't doubt that the producers and the directors of this film are using Scarlett's name as star power. Because one thing that Scarlett's name is doing right now is she's getting your butt in a cinema seat. You see Scarlett's name in a film and most people are probably going to watch it. Also Scarlett right now is actually proving herself to be one of the uh, best up and coming actresses for action films with such uh, movies as I don't know the one that's currently right behind my head right now and also films like Lucy. So she's proven herself to the people in the film industry that she can do roles like the Major. Um, but I don't doubt that there could have been other actresses that could have portrayed uh, the Major just as good as Scarlet could be, or even better than. 
no matter the race. But I ask you this, what's more racist? Hiring an actor for the skill, the talent, the drive and the attitude and how well they can portray a character no matter the skin colour or simply hiring an actor for the skin colour alone it seems pretty obvious to me now on a personal note I think Scarlett will do a pretty good job I mean the way she portrays Black Widow in Avengers isn't too far from Matoko Kusanagi just saying but at the end of the day how about we judge the film when the trailer comes out like we all usually do or when the film is actually in cinemas yeah the film could be good or it could follow the long uh, the uh, short history of anime adaptations and be absolutely terrible all depends at the end of the day just don't judge a film based on the race of the lead character so I've got to say.